trunk yeah. open up a summer so a good price at a sight in my whole got Hi guys and welcome to Barn Tech Tips and before we begin hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. So guys today I'll show you the unboxing of Gigabyte B700H. It is a PSU or power supply unit. It says that it is 80 plus bronze. I'll let you know about the ratings but at the moment let's first talk about the specs. So it is a semi-modular power supply which means that it will have these cables which would be the motherboard 24 pin connector and 8 pin cpu connector by default and others need to be connected here so you've got all the slots pci sada pada all of these slots are there on the psu but you need to install a cable for that by the way you get those cables with this box so you get a motherboard cable cpu cable you've got six plus two pin two connectors the sara one piece connector which has got three connectors the sata two pieces connector then you also have the old connectors that we used this power supply is a 700 watts power supply it is a continuous 700 watt output power supply so there is a difference between continuous and peak output what we need to learn is that when you're going to buy a PSU please make sure that you check the continuous output of the PSU I mean it, I'm exaggerating but it can be 10,000 watts PSU but it is only the peak output the continuous output would be let's say 2,000 watts so it's it's a very different thing when you buy it actually now if you look at the box it is kind of decent it is definitely heavy but it is kind of decent it is a semi modular power supply not a standard one so let's quickly open it by the way I've already opened the box I'm kind of faking it it is only because when you buy something you're so curious that you don't even wait for recording of the video that's kind of not easy okay so here we have a bag from gigabyte kind of decent it is of decent size you've got the manual with the PSU so it is a manual for G750H and B700H so this manual is sent for both the PSUs okay and here is the actual PSU we'll have a look at it let's first open so you've got all the cables that you need it has got a power outlet cable so these are the SARA cables, these are PCI Express cables and all of the, these cables are inside the box. We also get these screws to actually equip it to the chassis. Let's keep this aside. So these are the cables which are already with the PSU. And if you have a look here, this is the CPU connector. And it probably says, yes, so it says CPU here. And then you've also got. So these are the cables that are connected already with the PSU. This is a decent build quality. I mean, you don't expect this quality at a price that I've bought this for I'll let you know the price I'll show you the bill as well so this is a power supply what you need to look for when you're buying a power supply is the 12 V rail so it has 54 amperes on the 12 volt connector this is what you need to look at so if you have a single graphics card 54 ampere is more than sufficient so you need to look at this and then it has got a combined wattage of 700 watts or continuous wattage of 700 watts you get the motherboard connector with this and it probably says 
motherboard connector somewhere oh it does not and then you get the 8 pin cpu connector which it saves cpu so this is all you get and yes you get some table ties with it velcro kind of decent thing this is kind of decent because you need to do a lot of cable management so you can do that with this you roll it in the cables and then you just wrap it like this this is kind of decent it looks cool you will get decent cable management when you buy this PSU so that's all for the day and I think I'm going to enjoy using this PSU although um, this has more power that I needed I mean 700 watts is not something that I'm going to use anyways I'm using a single graphics card uh, which would 700 watts is more than what is required so that's all we have today guys but yes while I was starting the video I said that I would let you know what exactly 80 plus bronze is so there were PSU which had different efficiency so there's something called the efficiency curve people tend to buy cheap G graphics people tend to buy uh, cheap PSUs which is not something that I would recommend because PSU is definitely going to power your whole system if the PSU has some problems you might you might not be able to run your system I mean it, it, it can do anything because it is powering your system if you do not get sufficient power or more than what is required you're definitely going to damage your motherboard your graphics card your processor or something like that because everything is connected with this when the PSUs were built there was something which was the efficiency so if for example this let's say this is a thousand watts power supply and you need thousand watts at the moment if this PSU has 50% efficiency then it would take 1500 watts out of your uh, power outlet and then it would actually give you 100 watts so its efficiency is 50% if the efficiency is 100%, you need the same wattage, which would be uh, 1000 watts. It is going to take 1000 watts from the outlet, from your power outlet. So that is what is efficiency. Now in these PSUs, you see 80 plus bronze, 80 plus platinum, gold. These are all ratings that uh, you have. All of these PSUs which have AD plus logo are more than 80% efficient which means if let's say you need 80 watt in the system it would only take 100 watts out of the power outlet so it means the efficiency is 80% you only lose 20% of, uh, of your power in usually heat so that is what 80 plus rating is now they have uh, different certifications 80 plus bronze gold platinum it depends on the efficiency of the PSU this is this has probably up to 85 percent efficiency which is more than what is required so that's all for today guys you have a great day Thank you so much for watching the video. Bye-bye.